Well, his uh, beachy laid back brand spans everything from music to restaurants, drinks to casinos, and now it has also launched a Broadway show. Jimmy Buffett is bringing Margaritaville to New York. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon caught up with the singer and he's here now with the story. Sandy. Liz, Jimmy Buffett has never won a Grammy and he's not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So how come he's richer than Bruce Springsteen? Some answers Liz already provided. They can also be found at the Marquee Theater where we found him getting ready for the opening of his new musical. I don't know where I'm gonna go when I'm a pain of Laid back has rarely looked so good. The man making an escape to Margaritaville has built a fortune by seeming like he doesn't have a care in the world. The ability to have a little fun in life is necessary and even more so now. Jimmy Buffett's fans are known as Parrot Heads, and for decades now, his music has provided the soundtrack for their lives. And you never saw that coming when you were writing these songs? No, I did not. I was writing songs about people that I knew about and, uh, and, and episodes in my own life. You've seen it all. Buffett's new Broadway show is but one small part of an empire. The musician is worth more than half a billion dollars, but the musical featuring his old tunes is very close to his heart. Being on Broadway, a long-held dream. One of the cool things is, is walking to work down Broadway and being on Broadway. That's where we're going. So that, to me, I still have to pinch myself to see that that's going to happen. How does that make you feel? You know, I always love that Drifter song. I say the neon lights are bright on Broadway. I sing it coming down Broadway. Growing up in Mobile, Alabama, Jimmy was inspired to pursue show business by his late mother. Do you ever think of her in this theater? Yeah, I think about her a lot because uh, she would be very, very happy and pleased that I, I got this far. We'll see how, how we go from here. Jimmy Buffett doesn't appear in his Broadway show, but talking to him is a lot more fun than speaking with your average rich and famous person. <laughs> there is not a hint of pretense and no false modesty. When cameraman Fred Mason asked Jimmy if he still owned a pair of flip-flops, Jimmy replied, yeah, I keep them on my plane. <laughs> Oh, I bet he does. There Dang you wins. go. <laughs> That's the key to his success right there. It's probably exactly what you get. What you Gotta see is love what it. you get. Yep. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Sandy. Sandy.